Hey guys, so I decided to do a daily vlog today. I'm in a little bit of a rush right now and I don't know why I'm coming on right now while well, I'm in a rush. So I just <laughs> dropped the kids off at school. We were already behind. Uh, they woke up late. I was late getting ready. I didn't anticipate the Patrick Ta palette being app exclusive today. So that came out and I had to get that up, which put me behind. I'm not finished getting ready and I had a grocery pickup order that I'm waiting for currently. So right now I'm able to catch a breath and I decided to start this vlog in a little bit of a rush, but you know what, I have a moment here to introduce the weekly vlog, I guess. I will be taking you just along with me for the week, and I'm excited to do that. I don't think I've ever done a whole week vlog before, and I have a little bit going on this week, which I figured would be fun to share with you guys. So we're just starting off today on a busy note. It's a Monday, and it is definitely a Monday for me. It looks like I forgot to charge the camera too. Great. My uh, friend's coming over. She should be here probably about 40 minutes or so. So hopefully my groceries come soon because I have to get home, finish getting ready, and then she's coming over. She just wants to pick my brain a little bit about social media and editing, and I was gonna help her out with that. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. And for groceries, I had some things that I wanted to pick up for lunch and dinner tonight. I have the salmon I need to make for dinner, and I figured I'd make like risotto or something with it. So I wanted some mushrooms. And then I keep seeing this viral roasted tomato soup on TikTok and it looks so so good and today is really chilly so I thought it'd be perfect for lunch so that is kind of my plan today it kind of will be like a what I eat in a day I guess <laughs> for today so a lot of meals and I have to edit my video for tomorrow so just a busy day typical day and my order's here so I'll see you guys soon psych it was not my order so I had an order for nine o'clock it's almost 9 30 now the nice gentleman told me that it wasn't ready they didn't have people in this morning to pick i guess which is completely understandable so i am just hanging out here and my friend happens to be running late too i guess the bank wasn't open in time so people aren't there either so i guess everyone is sick at the moment last week my family had it i didn't get it but it seems everyone's getting sick and unfortunately I have a lot that's modified and it was a small order. I would have just went in there to get it myself, but I figured I'm dropping the kids off if the order is ready, which usually it is. I'll just pick it up and go home and it'll be quick. It was not quick today, never had this issue. <laughs> so I might actually have to run into theirs and spend exorbitantly more on the products that aren't here at Walmart, but such is life. So that is the update right now. Still in my car, happy Monday, and I will see you guys later, again, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not stuck here, I'm not doing another update at like 10 o'clock. I managed to make it home. You won't believe the morning I'm having. I'm gonna tell you the story once I get inside, but my battery in my car stopped working but I got home now you will hear the story I can't even open the hatch so I'm gonna get out my groceries just wait until I tell you oh my gosh my story <laughs> I love my day let me quickly get these groceries in the fridge and then I'll tell you my day unless Leslie gets here and which case I'm going to finally help her <laughs> because she had to come and help me. Just wait, just wait until I tell you my story. I was at Walmart, as you guys know, I was getting my grocery order and it was about 9.40. So I was waiting there a little over 40 minutes because I got there a little bit before nine for my order. I guess they didn't have it ready. The man serving me gave me a $20 gift card to use on my next order, which was so kind considering my order was like 30 bucks or something. It was worth the wait. And then as soon as he hit the hatch, to close it, I could just hear something off in my car. And I went to start it because I did have it on for my radio and I was sitting there for a while. So this is obviously, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize the time I had just my battery on draining basically. So I drained my battery, my car wouldn't start. Leslie's coming over. So it actually worked out perfectly cause she was about seven minutes away. Had some booster cables cause I couldn't crawl into my trunk. I couldn't even get it open to get my cables out. Leslie came to save the day. She had her booster cables and with her and my brain power combined, we got, why am I? 
<laughs> with her and my brain power combined, we managed to boost my car. I know it's an easy task, but I've honestly never had to do it. I've never been in an issue like that. I could tell that the battery just didn't sound right. Even parking at my house, Charles told me just to make it home. So I'm home now, probably gonna have to walk to pick up the kids which hopefully it's not gonna rain, which I think it's supposed to. So they're not gonna be too happy about that, <laughs> making them walk home in the rain today. But I'm just waiting on Leslie to get here. She said she was gonna grab us some coffees and I haven't had my coffee yet today. It has been a long morning. <laughs> so I'm ready for my coffee and to help her with editing and whatever she wants to do. So just waiting for her to get here and to get my day started. <laughs> my friend Leslie just left. I didn't film anything because I was helping her with socials and she so kindly brought me a bottle of wine as a thank you and boosted my car. <laughs> so basically saved me today. She's actually the friend who is self-published and wrote a book. I talked about it in a favorites video. So if you wanna go check out her book, I will link it down below. You can just get it on Amazon, which is super convenient and it's so good. She's also in a band too, so super talented. So definitely go check her out. I'll have her socials below as well. Today was such a perfect time for having a friend over. Otherwise I would have been stranded or had someone else boost me, I guess. I'm finally in my kitchen and I'm making that TikTok viral roasted tomato soup. And I just used things that needed to be used up. I had some shallots, just used all the ones I had left. I have two whole heads of garlic to roast, which the recipe only says one, but I love garlic, so I'm assuming it's gonna be okay, right? <laughs> have a red bell pepper, so it's gonna be a roasted tomato and pepper soup, I guess, and just some seasonings and the tomatoes, obviously, and that is just roasting in my oven right now. And I'm gonna have a late lunch, I guess, which is okay, because Alex has an appointment at 5.30 tonight, so we'll probably be having a late dinner, so it just works out that I'm eating a little bit later, but I do have to edit a video today, and that's pretty much gonna be <laughs> all my day, just making food, finishing that video. I have emails to do, but I think I'm gonna actually have to get to it tomorrow, just because I was supposed to do that this morning, and I just haven't had time because of car issues. So I will show you the soup when it's done and let you know how it tastes, but I'm excited to try it because it looks so good on everyone's TikTok that I've seen make it. You can do variations of this. I just kind of did what I had. I did pick up some heavy cream to add to this because I saw in the recipe to do that to make it more creamy. I had a little sample and this tastes creamy without cream, honestly, <laughs> to me. It's still really, really hot. But exactly what I need for today, considering it is cold and rainy and I have to go pick up the kids and I don't think my car is gonna start. <laughs> Honestly, so I'm just going to finish off my soup, edit. That's pretty much gonna be my day until my kids get home. And I'll probably show you dinner just because I have some salmon I need to use up tonight. I figured a risotto would be really good for tonight as well. If you wanted to try this roasted tomato soup recipe that's viral right now, it's really, really good. I put a lot of red chili flakes in here though. I'm gonna be the only one able to eat this <laughs> because it is pretty hot but I like spicy things. I think two whole heads of garlic is fine for me. It's not too garlicky for me. I love garlic. At least I didn't have to walk to pick up the kids. My car was able to make it. Yay. It's Tuesday and I'm kind of treating today like it was yesterday, Monday, because I wasn't able to get everything done. So I just kind of pushed everything that I needed to do a day and I finished my video that's going up tonight. So that is kind of the main thing for this Tuesday was getting that video done. So that's gonna be up uh, three hours from now. I'm just tidying up downstairs and getting ready to film. I'm gonna be doing that on Thursday instead of Wednesday because I pushed everything and then I'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow. So I'm gonna take you guys along to the salon and just kind of show you what I'm getting done. I've just been adding more highlights each time. I've kept the root the same, but that needs to be done so bad because <laughs> all my grays 
are coming in. I want to keep the same color, just bring it up a little bit more and maybe add a little bit more blonde so that eventually I'll find a point where I want to stop, but I feel like it can add a little bit more blonde. I also tried out a new mascara today. Wanted to show you guys. It's the one from Tower 28. Have that on my eyes right now. And it's one of those rubberized ones, which typically I don't like. It will focus. It won't focus up close. But it's one of those rubberized ones and it's scooped, which is actually really nice for cupping the lashes. So I put that on my eyes just now to test it out. Just got it in PR and wanted to throw it on right away. I didn't even have my makeup done. Again, it was mostly an admin day for me. I had to get some emails done that I wasn't able to do yesterday. Just had a bunch of little things like that that I just needed to get done. And then, as I said, the video. So now I have that ready to go. I have Thursdays ready. And then I'm going to edit this video for Sunday. So I'm trying to upload a extra video a week. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I'm just going to try and keep on that kind of momentum. And I was only able to do that this week because I had pre-filmed the week before and my kids were sick all last week. <laughs> Luckily I did that else I wouldn't have had three videos this week, but so far so good. And I'm just trying to come up with some ideas to film for next week. So if you have any videos you wanna see, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and get to those. There's a ton of new releases coming out. We'll see how many that I get to. I ordered that Patrick Ta palette and that comes in the mail tomorrow. I might actually film that after my hair. We will see. That's it for today. Just a normal working day, just trying to get everything cleaned up. This room is actually a disaster. I need to clean brushes at some point, have a video set up already to film, and then just a bunch more stuff over here that I just wanna put away. So that is all I'm doing. Have to charge my battery apparently, cause it's going to die. <laughs> Hello. Just got home. Here is here to greet me. I did go a little bit lighter, just got a little bit more blonde. You could really tell in the salon though how light it is. You can't really tell here. Looks like it's gonna rain. I didn't think it was supposed to rain today. I am so hungry. Bought a bunch of stuff and I thinly sliced vegetables on a mandolin yesterday to make subs. So I think I'm gonna have that for lunch. Then I also went to the mailbox, picked up some mail to figure show you guys some PR and something I got from Sephora, which plan on filming my video, which I think I actually told you about yesterday. So that's not a surprise, but I need to make some food. I am starving. So we'll see you guys in a few. Just show you the hair in all its glory. She did such a good job. And this time she did a different toner some sort of champagne. I forget the exact name of it, but it had like a glaze in it too. So it's so shiny. It looks incredible. It is a lot lighter <laughs> than it was. I love it. It looks so healthy and good. Thank you, Holly. I will leave her Instagram down below if you wanna go check out my cousin. She's been doing my hair and I've been absolutely loving it. I've been craving a sub. See all the things that I thinly sliced up, I think I need to cut some more tomato. And I actually make my own sub sauce as well, which I will put on the screen in case you guys are curious. It's super easy to make. And I'll probably put hot peppers, pickles, that on here too. I like everything, honestly. <laughs> it has arrived. The Patrick Toffer face palette, the new one. I ordered that, that came actually pretty quick. And then I threw in a sample of this Danessa Myricks Twin Flame in Crazy For You. I'm gonna swatch that, see how that is, but I'm saving this, swatching it for my video, which I plan on actually filming tomorrow morning. I was going to quickly try and film it today, but I don't think I'd be able to get it up in a reasonable time anyway, so. I'm gonna have this up on Thursday for you guys. Here she is in all her glory. I can tell that this shade right here is lifting up slightly in the pan. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with that. You can see that right there. Hopefully that doesn't pop right out. I'm positive that the review for this will be up prior to you even seeing this vlog, but you can see what it looks like first impression without even touching it. The creams do have some shimmer in it. We will see how this looks. I was watching Steph's video last night and it looks so, so good. So I cannot wait to test that out. Here is the Danessa Myricks. Twin Flames Multi-Chrome Pigment. It looks so cool. Look at that shade. 
I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> the kind of eye look that that would create. Wow. Cannot wait to put that on my eyes, but it looks so different in the packaging. It's just really, really metallic yellow. The duochrome on this color is insane. Wow, look at that shift. I feel like I lose my voice quite easily. Is anyone else like that? I talk for a brief amount of time and I already feel like I'm losing my voice. This happens when I'm filming too. I film one video and if I want to film multiple, you can tell like my voice starts going raspy. <laughs> Anyways, I have some stuff from Persona kindly sent over. Here is everything Persona sent over. The lip liners, they look like the perfect colors. I love those. And then they have the shade Bubble in both a powder and a cream stick. And this is like that Kylie Jenner sort of pink and I've heard this is a great dupe for the Dior blush too. I'm excited to test that out, especially in the cream because I have a bunch of powder pinks like this for blush, but nothing like that for cream. And then here is the eyeshadow palette, which she first started off with. Gorgeous palette. Packaging is changed because I remember it was a cardboard. So it's a nicer packaging now. We just got here to Dollarama. We're planning on getting snacks for movie night. Planning on seeing the new Hocus Pocus. Oh, of course you'd pick that. You can pick one candy, but whatever you get, you share with your friends. What are you picking? Gummy blocks. These are so good and I never see them. Yeah. I actually had to race out of the dollar store because Steph texted me. She told me that the Charlotte Tilbury face palettes were available. So I had to get home and post about those. They have two palettes available, one lighter, one darker. I honestly cannot decide which one I think is more beautiful. They're both stunning. I might lean towards the deeper one, but still both of them to me. <laughs> gorgeous and you know my love for charlotte tilbury so raised home for that quickly made dinner i made this chicken curry stew which was so good with a garlic naan can you guys tell that i'm a foodie <laughs> you might not have known that by watching my videos but i love food so now you can see a little bit of that in my vlogs i'm showing you all the things i'm eating it's just turning into a what i eat in a week i guess <laughs> because that's all that i'm showing you but that's going to be it for today tomorrow i'm not sure actually how much I'm gonna be able to show you guys because I'm going to be working on that Patrick Ta video as soon as I get the kids to school. It's gonna be straight to film, edit, upload for tomorrow, pushing my videos so you're not gonna get four videos. I'm just gonna push that to next week and then I have to work on my project at night. So hopefully I can get that done because it's gonna be so hilarious come Friday. I cannot wait to show my friends and you guys what it's gonna be because it is gonna be so perfect i'm already laughing about it my kids are laughing about it even the idea of it if i can't even pull it off is still it's enough for me because i am laughing hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a review on the brand new palette from patrick ta it is for the face it is a limited edition blush palette for the holiday season just like last year it is called the major headlines blush palette volume 2. just finished filming my patrick ta video the review is going to go up tonight just have to edit it. I'm going to import the footage right now and Steph has been bugging me to try a pink drink or a dragon drink. So I'm gonna actually head to Starbucks so I have some Starbucks. I, did I just say that weird? I did, I think. I'm going to head to Starbucks to get myself one of those drinks so I can sip on it while I edit and get this up for you guys tonight. We are glowing. You'll see how this wears throughout the day. I'm so glowy though. You can't really tell the difference between my cheeks and this camera. You can see the glow though, wow. Stopped at a stoplight and I'm gonna test this quick. Oh yeah, I can see why she likes this. I've never actually tasted anything like that before. I really like dragon fruit. I like passion fruit. Love all those kind of fruits, star fruit. Oh, here we go, this is gonna fall off. Okay, you're not broken, that's good. Sorry for dropping you. I don't vlog and drive. There is a cat on my property. Here is probably going crazy inside the house. If she saw that cat going by, she probably did because, oh, there it is again. 
It's going up to my door. Here is losing her mind. You know I'm watching you, don't you? We are situated safely now. I don't vlog and drive because I don't have anything to mount my camera. As you could tell, it's falling off. So we have the dragon drink I've never tried. I got a venti because that's what Steph gets. I, I don't think I've ever had a venti before in my life. This is so good though. It's like the perfect balance of being not too sweet, but refreshing. This was like $7 though. <laughs> Couldn't make that a regular thing. I drink my coffee black and I drink instant at home, okay? But yes, a little treat for me while I edit that video and try and get it up for you to guys today. Hopefully the mascara on my eyelids isn't a, too big of an issue. I'm not refilming it because I like the footage apart from my messy eyelid, but I couldn't see it past these gigantic lashes I have on. And oh yeah, I just saw the kids getting off the bus. They uh, went to church today. So I saw their school coming back from church, which was kind of fun to see. It was like perfect timing. I was meant to go out and get this drink just so I could see that, right? Again, I don't know how much I'm going to update you guys in today's video. Maybe on the wear of this blush, just because I mentioned that in the video I'm uploading today. But I really got to get it done. And preferably before I go pick up the kids for school. So, and I have to eat lunch. We'll see how fast I can speed edit this video though. So I just got back from taking the kids to school. And when we were about to leave the house, the cat that was here yesterday roaming around our house was in our little porch area. So I ended up putting out some water. I got a closer look because yesterday I didn't see because I was just walking around. And its eyes looked a little weird. And I was texting Steph and she said it's probably kitty pink eye, which is curable with antibiotics. So to contact a rescue. So I was just waiting to see if the cat comes back. Oh, it might actually be here in one sec. And you came back? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy you came back. Can you call and get you some help? Are you having some water? I'm gonna make some eggs and then you can have some food. So have your water, I'll leave you be. I'm gonna go make you some food, okay? You can't come in though. My dog would maybe eat you. Okay, can't come in. I know, I know. Have to text Steph. I wonder if he's like touching it, like to see if it's hot. Yeah. It's like you cool down yet? It should cool down fast though, because it is cold outside. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yummy. Uh, when I got that dog that I didn't expect, I mean, I just like reached out. I just Googled and I think I called like four or five places and then like, you know, just whoever was like, yeah, I, we can help. I was like, great. Okay. So, I shall do that. That will be my day today now. <laughs> I take him a minute to like eat all that because he's probably like, what is this? Yeah. And he's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, he's eating now. This was not how I was expecting to start Thursday's vlog. I was going to start it at the party, which is super fun. And this morning, we went outside and right in our porch area was that cat that I saw yesterday. And it was just standing there meowing. It was obviously hungry. So I put out some water for it. Had to take the kids to school. And I came back. The cat was there. And I was looking up on Google what to do. And I made some eggs, fed the cat. The cat's gone now, but I called Steph to help me through this because she's been in situations like this before. It's no one's cat. It's obviously starving, and I feel so bad. I can't even talk about this. I know it looks good. No, it back. Here. Hey, Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> 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 Are we rushing to
You want some food? Fine. We just came out to our secret fishing spot. I call it secret. A couple people know about it, but I was here the one time and this one man said that if you find it, you have to keep it a secret. So this is where we go fishing. The kids are coloring over there. And it's just a beautiful spot. You can fish on either side. Okay. Some video. Can I have more nerds? Ah, ah. Uncle. That orange, uh, orange brown one is. We're walking out of our fishing spot. It's about 10, 15 minute walk. So we walk there, walking back. It's starting to cool down, and the water was really low today. So they're draining the river. It's 503, so we're gonna get home. Thinking about making some tacos for dinner. I have leftover guac that I want to use, so I thought that would be really good. You like tacos? Tacos. <laughs> Did catch some fish, nothing to write home about though. Nothing good. I do have some updates on the cat situation. I actually met up with the cat prior to coming fishing. It hurt us when we were going out to the car. Yesterday I couldn't talk about it too much. Every time I did, I was rather upset, crying a lot yesterday. But last night was really fun. Probably have a few clips in the vlog, but it's gonna be it for today. And then tomorrow you're gonna see this vlog. The bugs are gonna get you. Alex got bit a bit. Did you get any bites? No. I haven't got bit yet. They don't like me. They only like me when I'm pregnant. We're home. I said it. I know. I said Wait what happens parked. if the cat was here. I know. Where's the cat? It's right here. Hi. I hear, hear her crying. How did you know? Did you hear a car? Do you know? What's that? The cat really wants to come in our house. What's what is... that? What's that bug? I know you want in, but you can't. Hero would not like that very much. You like the camera? Mm. Just wait till Kitty leaves because we don't want Hira to run out. Alright, see you later. Mm. See you for breakfast. Everyone say bye Kitty. Bye Kitty. Bye. Alright, see ya. You want lovin's? Okay. Lovin's. Lovin's. Cat just had some food, and wherever we're going, it's following us. Uh. I feel so bad. The cat is literally in the window. He just likes it here. 
Hey guys, happy Sunday. I was going to update you guys today about the cat situation. I couldn't talk about it on Thursday when it initially happened just because I was so distraught. For all that day, I just felt sick to my stomach. And every time I tried to talk about it, I would cry on camera. So I didn't want to vlog or go into detail, but I did find out more about this cat and the whole situation is actually a little bit worse than what I thought because I thought it was just a stray, but it's actually a neighbor's cat, which makes me really upset because clearly the cat needs food and vet care. I just wanted to let you guys know that the situation is being taken care of. The cat I actually saw this morning when I was going to pick up groceries at Walmart didn't get stuck there today, thankfully. <laughs> and it was about to come over, but there was a bunch of dogs outside hanging out. So it stopped and didn't want to come over, but it knows when we leave the house and wants to come and say hi. And the thing about the cat is that it doesn't want to eat on its own. It likes to have people there watching it eat. So I'm okay with that. If it wants to eat and wants to come to my place to eat, I'm gonna have food out there. I bought food for this cat and it was eating yesterday, you had seen in the clip. It's just not a good situation all around to be involved in, especially for this cat. I'm just waiting for him to come by today because he hasn't had his breakfast. And we're not worried about the cat being fed at this point, we're just worried about it being cold because we're not sure if it's let in the house. We think it's only in the garage. Again, there's only so much that we can do since it is this person's pet. I'm not gonna talk any further about it just because I do find this whole situation quite upsetting. And it took me until today to be able to talk about it without crying and I'm still really emotional about this whole situation. I'm not sure the next time I'm going to do a weekly vlog and I have no idea what I'm gonna film next week. And I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to because Charles is gonna be doing our roof and it's gonna be really, really noisy. So we will see what I'm able to <laughs> film next week. Let me know what you wanna see. I was considering picking up the Huda Beauty palette tomorrow. So let me know in the comments if there's any video ideas that you wanna see. That is it for my spend the week with me. So thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. If you have not already, I would absolutely Love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.